We're gonna do some scouting for turkeys today. It's one of my favorite spots, but it's also one of my least favorite spots. I'll show you guys why once we get in there. So let's get at it. Here in PA, Spring Gobbler starts May 4th, half hour before sunrise to noon. So it's gonna be real tricky getting in here, try to get on turkeys before noon. I'll work my way to the west, get up on top of this bench here. Seen turkeys up here on this finger quite a bit in the past. I'm just gonna sit tight here for a minute, maybe do a little bit of calling. I think the crows are responding better than the turkeys. I'm a little rusty without using a turkey call. All right. Did you guys hear that? Shoot. I should have stayed put a little longer. I heard him come in. I saw him come down right there. No idea where they're at. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna sneak up behind this tree and do some more calling. I was right down there at that log. I just did a couple simple calls and I didn't hear a response. I started walking up this direction and all it took was about three or four minutes. I had some turkeys come in right here. I'm not seeing them. Well, I thought for sure they landed. I don't know how many turkeys there were. Could have been just one. Good chance. There's a good chance it spotted me and just kept going. But hey, I'm not turkey hunting yet, but that was fun. Every time I go to walk away, that freaking turkey starts communicating. It can't be more than 50 yards away, but I can't see it. Well, there went the turkey. So I never actually made it to the ground that's sitting up there. Oh, oh, is that another turkey? Yeah, I bet it is. That turkey just flew back down around and landed right up here. Must be curious. that tree. It's probably a good 60-70 yards. Boy, I sounded like a dying turkey on that one. Guess I better start working on that. <laughs> All right, that's enough playing around with my turkey. So it looks like these turkeys were in here already this morning. I've seen them roosting quite a bit up there. 
about 100 yards of that big giant tree. Thinking about hunting in here for the first day of spring gobbler. My only other issue is I know there's a lot of avid turkey hunters and I have no idea where they're gonna be. This could be a prime turkey spot for 12 other people, I don't know. All right, so you can see we're up on top of this bench. These turkeys like to be down here in the bottom, milling around. There's a swamp down there early in the day. And like I said, they'll come back up here and mill around midday to the afternoon and back up closer to where they're gonna roost. There's some good trees in here for roosting too. I'll work my way down to the west just a little bit more and then swing back up around and see if I can pick out a good location to set up. Like I said, this is one of my favorite spots to hunt, but it's also one of my least favorite because look at all these pine needles, bed of pine needles. And by the time spring gobbler comes in, it's usually pretty warm out. We know the woods are already infested with ticks, but one of the worst places I know that are tick infested is under these pine needles. That's why it's pretty easy to spot turkeys in here. They eat the crap out of all those ticks. But when it's a little bit warmer out, you can walk through here on these pine needles. If you stop, you can literally see the ticks jumping up onto your boots and your pants. I mean, I'll deal with it because it's part of hunting. It is what it is. I'll just prepare for it. The ground right here is pretty solid. It's pretty packed down. I'm not seeing a whole lot of sign in here. I think once we get up here in the top, the ground's gonna be a little bit looser and more pine needles. I see a little bit more sign up there. Now we're getting closer to the road. This looks like a prime spot right here. It's really hammered. So I think what we're going to do... Got this branch that must have broke off. Right here. I'm going to move this over. Use that as a blind and I'm going to sit right up against this tree the first day spring gobbler. So I just cleared some of these dead branches and there was a giant broken branch right here. So I drug that over. I think I just found my setup for the first day of turkey. I'll have some good cover in here. There's a pretty good makeshift blind right there, buddy. As long as I can get in here quietly. Make sure I have a nice quiet path to get in here. If you look over there about 200 yards, 250 yards, that's where I came in. Come down around the bottom and worked my way right up. And now I'm heading back over that direction. And what's cool about this spot is we're not gonna have to access it the way I came in. I can walk right over here to this corner. I've seen turkeys roosting right here too. Easy access right in here. Start there, and then work our way right back to there. Ha! Ah, sounds like a plan to me. Anyway, it's starting to rain pretty good. I'm gonna head back to the truck. I'm getting soaked. Well, I made it back to the truck, soaking wet. If it wasn't raining so bad, I would have stayed over there and drug some more branches over to where we're gonna set up for the first day of turkey. I can't say I'm a professional turkey hunter. I'm just going off of what I remember. So hit that like button, leave a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Maybe I couldn't love you quite as much as I should have.